All right, there we go. All right, so let's do it. Let's come on over to your mat and we'll start at the top edge in Samasitihi. Hopefully Lola sits down for this. So just placing the feet underneath the hips, maybe a little closer together for the big toes to touch. And lifting upward through the crown of the head for a few cycles of breath, just learning or relearning how to stand with engagement. Perhaps squeezing the thighs together, maybe even squeezing the bum. And definitely working a little bit into your pelvic floor. So just thinking about the hammock that sits at the base of the spine, connecting the sit bones, connecting the pubic bone to the tailbone, creating this kind of X shape. And see if you can pull the hammock, both hammocks, upward. I'm taking a few cycles of breath with sound. make way into our sun salutations from here. As noted, we will be vinyasa styling the Surya Namaskars. So here we go. We'll inhale, pull the arms to the sky and stretch. Exhale to fold forward. Relax as you hinge into the hips. Inhale, let's look forward and lean into the fronts of the feet. Exhale, fold. Step back one leg at a time to your plank. Inhale, lean forward and look forward. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way, keeping the legs engaged. Inhale, rise into that first back bend, opening up across your chest. And exhale, lifting into your downward facing dog. Feeling free to walk the feet up a couple of notches, but just lifting through the tailbone as we lengthen the, through the spine. Letting the heels paddle one at a time to the earth. And noticing how it feels in, in the sacrum, in the low back, to sway the hips. Noticing how it feels in the neck to circle the head. And we'll turn our gaze forward from here. Just take a nice, easy step up to the top edge of your mat. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up and make sure you're stretching through this. Lift, exhale the arms by your side. So one more, same pace. Inhale, float the arms back up. Exhale, fold into the legs. Hmm. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold again, easy step back to your flank. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lowering down. Inhale, here's that back bend once again, just pulling the rib cage up and through. And downward dog, exhale, rising up through the hips. Noticing the back body here as you stretch from the heels all the way through tailbone. Maybe paddling the feet one at a time, getting into a little bit of cracking up the spine. Hopefully it feels good for you. It's not a weird cracking, but instead a chiropractic kind of care that we can give ourselves on this Monday. Extending through the crown of the head. And we'll turn our gaze forward. Again, step up easy to the top edge of your mat. We'll lift halfway, inhale, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, come all the way back up and stretch to the front body. Exhale, the arms by your side. So let's add on with the chair pose. Inhale, find your chair and lift through the gaze. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, fold, step or jump your way back, lower down. Inhale, front body stretch, really point through the feet. And exhale, downward dog. So we're going to step the right foot forward. Come on into a crescent lunge. Just keep it nice and easy. We'll keep that back heel lifted. A few cycles of breath, just starting to warm up. Take a big inhale, stretch the rib cage up a little taller. And exhale, hands to the ground. Step on back and lower down. 
Inhale, lift into that back bend. Exhale into downward dog. We'll step the left foot forward, same thing, other side. Come on up to your lunge. A few cycles of breath to land, good. Any option with the hands is fine. Right now I have my Charlie's Angels fingers going on. Probably y'all know what that means. <laughs> take a big inhale, stretch up, and exhale. Take the hands down. We'll step back and lower. Inhale, rising through that back bend, and exhale, downward dog. A few cycles of breath once again to relax up through the length of the spine. I'm losing my sweater finally. It's still cold in here, but I'm warming up. So if you need to lose a layer, keep it clean. <laughs> Lifting through the tailbone. And we'll turn our gaze forward. Step or jump your way on up to the top of your mat. Lift halfway, breath in. Exhale, fold. Come back to your chair pose. Take an inhale, let's get a little bit deeper. Exhale, fold forward. Straighten the legs, push through the heels as you relax. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step or jump your way back and lower down. Inhale, rising through that back bend. And exhale, let's all take a little push up and make your way to downward facing dog. Just take a moment to assess how that felt for you. Now listen, if you used your low back, moving from your low push up to downward facing dog, next time we do it, I want you to scoop your butt under, okay? We'll talk about it as we go. Let's step the right foot forward once again. Inhale, rise to your lunge. Exhale, chaturanga, hands to the floor. Step back, lower down. Inhale into that back bend. Find your push up, scoop your butt under. Make your way to downward dog. So it's a little easier said than done, but really harness your core. Step forward with that left foot. Come on up to lunge. Inhale to lift up. And exhale into that chaturanga. Step back, take your push up. Inhale, lifting to back bend. Exhale, low push up and make your way into your downward facing dog. That was good. It's a little bit of shoulder strength. Good, take an inhale, lift up heels. Exhale, look forward, hop on up to the top. Good, lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold back into your chair pose. Take a breath in and fold forward, breath out. Let's go a little bit more. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's hop your way back, lower down. Inhale into that back bend. Again, push up into your downward facing dog. That was great. Step the right foot forward. Inhale, come on up. We're gonna open to warrior two. Find your warrior two, let it be easy. Feel lateral stretch first across the hips. And we'll take an inhale into peaceful warrior and exhale chaturanga. Step on back, lower you down. Inhale, lift to back bend. Exhale, push up to your downward dog. We're just playing with it. Stepping that other foot forward, come on up to lunge. Inhale to lift. Exhale, warrior two. Just take a moment. Thighs on an external rotation just to feel that stretch, feeling the power, engaging your back leg. And we'll inhale, lift front arm up to peaceful warrior. Exhale, windmill all the way back down. Step back, lower into your chaturanga. Inhale into that back bend. Exhale, push up to downward dog. Good, in this downward dog, just feel your body relaxing for the moment. It is supposed to be a rest pose. At any time if it's not restful, you are the boss of your own game. Maybe do something a little different. If you're still in down dog and you're happy to move forward, let's go ahead and turn the gaze forward. Step or jump on up to the top. Lift halfway, inhale, exhale, fold. Come back to your chair pose. Big inhale to press up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Step or jump your way back once again. Lower down. Inhale, back bend. Push up to downward dog. Let's pick up the right leg to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, step forward. Drop your back knee. We're in low Anjaneyasana. Okay? 
So feel free to drop or put something underneath your back knee just for good measure. Lifting through the arms and trying to drag the back leg forward. Big inhale to lift and exhale. Let's take the hands to the hips. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to pick up your back knee and come back up to your crescent lunge. Good. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And let's just pause for a moment, wrapping that back arm around your low back. Maybe lifted hand behind the head and just getting into that luxurious breath into the front of your right rib cage. You can always pick up the front heel for fun. Good, make your way back up to warrior two. Drop your heel if it was lifted and exhale, spin it down. Let's step back to your plank. You can hover your leg to lower you through chaturanga. Drop leg to lift up dog, inhale. Maybe push up to downward dog, exhale. Left leg high, inhale, lift it. Exhale, step it forward. We ground the back knee, take a moment to land. Good, put something underneath your back knee, no problem. Arms can lift if and when that feels right for you. Dragging back leg forward and use that to lift the chest. Good. Take a big inhale, lift a little taller through the heart. And exhale, we'll take the hands to the waist just to ground. Picking up your back knee, come on up into your crescent lunge. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, warrior two. We're pausing in that peaceful warrior. So taking that back arm around the low back front arm to the sky, hand behind the head, and breathe into the left lung. Maybe picking up your front heel. Good, float on back to warrior two, ground that heel, inhale. Exhale, spin it to the floor, step it on back, let's lift that left leg high to lower you through your chaturanga. Good. Inhale, upward facing, push up, downward dog, exhale. Good, so find your down dog, lifting through the tailbone. See if you can relax the shoulders themselves a little bit and instead push from the serratus, push from your left. Push from the space underneath your armpits. Keep that strong push. Look forward, use your armpits to hop up to the top of your mat. Push from them. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Come on back through your chair pose. Good, big inhale into chair. Exhale, once again, we bow forward. Inhale, halfway, look up. Exhale, fold, push on your armpits, armpits and hop your way back to your plank and lower your way down. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, maybe push up to down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, back to that Anjane Asana. Inhale, lift up to Anjane Asana. And exhale, we're gonna find a half split, so rock it on back. A few cycles of breath here just to connect to that length in the back of the right leg. And keep that, that leg active. Try to drag the right leg back. Take an inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold in. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift the gaze up and forward. Engage that right leg. Exhale, fold forward. And just one more time on that. Inhale, engage the right leg and really lift the heart up. Exhale, fold forward. Awesome. Inhale, come back into your Anjane Asana, lift through the arms. Exhale, hands to the waist, let's stand back up. Picking up that back knee, find your crescent. Inhale, lift up, we're gonna twist. Exhale, twist to your right side. Good, a few cycles of breath. Prayer twist is great, people. Don't feel like you have to go any deeper than this. Let's breathe it out for five, four, three, Two, having fun, right? Last inhale on one. Exhale, look down, come back to your lunge. Inhale, lift up, up to lunge. We're going to warrior two. Inhale into your peaceful warrior. 
and exhale. Let's find extended side angle, but let's keep the right arm reaching forward toward the horizon. A little bit of core challenge. So keeping that lifted arm, left arm, around the low back. And see if you can really squeeze the core to do the turning open of the chest to the sky. Good. Last inhale. Let's take both arms past your ears. And exhale, hands to the floor. Step it on back. Lift that right leg high to lower your way through Chaturanga. Good. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, push up to your downward dog. Let's do the other leg. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale to your Anjane Asana. Inhale, rise the arms, look up, and exhale into your half split. Rock it on back. Good. Again, please keep something underneath your knees if you need that. Don't do what I'm doing if your knees are telling you not to, okay? Engage that left leg. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold forward. Again, inhale, pull the heart up. Exhale, fold back in. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Then inhale, lift the head back up, and exhale, Anjane Asana. Again, take the arms to the sky, big inhale, and exhale, hands to the waist, picking up your back knee. Inhale, stand up tall, arms can lift. Exhale, prayer twist to your left side. So just take your time, steady your gaze. Really rolling open through the rib cage, breathing it out for five, four, three, two, and one. Look down, come back up to your crescent lunge. Take a big inhale, exhale, open to warrior two. Good, let's find that peaceful warrior. Inhale, lift it on up. And exhale, work into your, excuse me, extended side angle with that left arm past the ear. <clears throat> Turning the rib cage open in space. Seeing if you can draw the low belly in. It's easier said than done here, but engage through that back leg and drop your hips down maybe two more inches. Good, I know it's tough. Both arms past your ears here. Take a big inhale to stretch. Exhale, chaturanga, hands to the floor. Step it back high with that left leg to lower you down. Inhale, here's your back bend. Exhale, push up maybe to downward dog. Good, so let's just take a moment. We just did a whole bunch of stretching, a whole lot of strengthening, flexibility, and some stability thrown in there. So find your downward dog. Slow down the breath. And we're going to build in a cat and cow sequence through downward dog and plank. So what I want to have us do is really focus on the core. Okay? So the whole time, I want you to really try to suck the low belly in. So focus on that. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of a cat pose to roll us forward to our plank. Suck in the low belly, take an inhale, and exhale downward dog through a cow face pose. We've done this in previous classes, so we're going to do it here. Let's do it again. Cat pose, come forward to plank, inhale. Cow pose to downward dog, exhale. We're going to take this nine more times. So inhale, come back forward through cat plank. Exhale, cow to downward facing. And again, inhale from your core, cat plank it. Exhale, down dog through cat or cow pose, lift it. And again, inhale, exhale, really get that low belly involved, squeeze it, inhale, exhale, again, inhale, exhale, three more, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale to plank, and exhale. Stay in your downward dog, and then turn the gaze forward. We'll use your armpits to hop to the top of your mat. Good, lift halfway, inhale, 
exhale, fold, let's stop in a chair pose. So thank goodness for chair pose. So the first couple of years that I was doing Utkatasana, I was doing it all wrong. I don't know about you all, but I had teachers who would say, you know, stick your butt way out and sit back like there's a chair underneath your butt. This is all, you know, good and fine. But what I noticed is that I hyperextend my low back just by default. So I personally have to work pretty hard to tuck under with the bum. If that's you and you know it, you'll know because your low back is starting to feel tired. So do try to drop down with the tail and pull into the pelvic floor. Think about those hammocks once again, connecting the, the sit bones together, connecting the pubic bone area with the tailbone together. Lifting in and up through pelvic floor. Take a big inhale, lift to the rib cage. Exhale is fold forward into the legs. Inhale, look up and forward. And we're gonna head into a crow pose. If you wanna take low lasana instead, I shall leave that up to you. Crow pose people, you know the drill. Low lasana pose people, you also know where you're coming from. So wherever you're at, going ahead and lifting up for five, four, three, two. Listen on one, we're simply gonna to go to yogi squat. So step down with the feet, find your squat. Good. A few cycles of breath here, lifting the chest and thinking about the external rotation of the thigh bones right in the sockets that's happening. Pulling in through the low belly as you can. And we're gonna do that crow low lasana again, okay? So if you're having wrist issues, feel free to roll them out first. Yep, I know it's not easy with the wrists. And let's set it up, either that lift up or you're going to crow pose. Play with it and let's do it here for eight, seven, it's okay if you come down early, six, five, four, three, two, one, back into your yogi squat. Let's roll out the wrists, okay? Making fists and just figure eights with those fists is a really good way to just kind of bring some stability back in. And then come back into a nice upright shape. We're gonna do it one more time, because we can. So first time we counted to five, second time we counted to eight, third time we're counting to 10. Don't let that scare you. Set it up, and here we go. Lifting on in, always feel free to come down early, then just lift your way back up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, draw your low belly up. Five, four, three, two. Back to your yogi squat on one. Nice job, roll it out, make fists. We're gonna head into Padmasthasana from here, going ahead and straightening the legs, and we'll take the, feet, the hands underneath your feet, palms face up. Inhale, look forward and exhale, fold in, letting the head relax. So we do wanna push the toes into the wrist here, just allowing for some massage to happen. Now, if your knees are super bent, that's totally fine. What we wanna have happen over time here, of course, is to get into the activity of the thighs. So do see if you can engage the legs, even if your knees are bent, and use that engagement to pull the low belly up. And we'll take an inhale to look up and forward and exhale, let's bring the hands up to the hips. Inhale, come all the way up to stand and exhale, bringing the feet together for Samasita Ki. Good, so let's take a vinyasa through your chair pose once again. Inhale, sitting back, looking up nice and strong. Exhale, fold forward into the legs. Inhale, halfway up. 
Exhale, fold again, push on your armpits, step or hop your way back and lower down. Inhale, finding our back bend. So we just compress the front body, let's stretch it here. And we'll make our way into your downward dog, maybe through that push up. So let's open the hips a little, this is a counter stretch. We'll take the right leg to the sky, inhale it up. Exhale, do open the hip and bend the knee here. And I'm gonna ask you to try to take external rotation to both thighs. So it's not easy, particularly the one that's on the, uh, attached to the standing leg, but see if you can turn your standing knee over to your left. Good, we're gonna kick that right leg back up to the sky and inhale, and exhale, step forward. We're coming back to that Anjane Asana, dropping your back knee. Let's bring the hands to the hips for a moment. Good. So set up your knee, make sure your knee is safe. We're gonna take the arms on up to the sky, and from here, let's take the hands behind the head and relaxing back into the hands. So this should feel like a little bit more of a stretch for the front body. Let's breathe together for five. Drag that left leg forward as you pick up the chest taller. Four. Three. Two, and a one, we'll inhale, lift the legs up tall, or arms up tall, exhale, half split, or if you want to go to more of a fuller split, you can separate the legs. If you're doing fuller split, you can take the hands to blocks, or you can put a block underneath your right thigh. Totally up to you. So for me, I've been playing with this a lot in my personal practice, and I'm no good at, at full splits, but I notice a lot more of an improved opening in the hip flexors because of this action. So wherever you're at, try to engage your front leg, much like we were doing when we were in half split. See if you can just simply lift up the chest. See if you can find your pelvic floor. A few more cycles of breath wherever you're at. We are gonna fold forward, so take a big inhale and exhale, fold into the front leg. Keeping the front leg engaged. Keep dragging the right hip back and the left hip forward. And we'll inhale, let's pick up the chest and exhale back into your Anjane Asana. So let's re-bend into the front knee, come on up. There's a lot of work for that back hip flexor, so we're gonna just do one more thing and then we'll give it a break, okay? So let's take that left hand, we're taking it to that back leg somewhere, maybe on the calf muscle, maybe on the ankle, but heading into that little beautiful half camel pose, taking that right arm maybe back behind you, maybe the right hand behind the head. But wherever you're at, just see if you can really push the chest up in space. Let's breathe here for five, four, Three, two, one. Come on back to Anjane Asa. Take an inhale and exhale. Listen, hands to the floor. We're going to wiggle your back foot forward and make our way into half Lord of the Fishes, uh, half Lord of the Fishes twist. Okay? So, Ardha Bhatsi and Drasana. So, we're going to turn open to the right. I do have my right knee up toward my chest. And you can grab the right knee as you twist, and you can certainly cross that left arm in front of the leg, more Ashtanga style if you'd like, okay? Wherever you're at, take a big inhale, and exhale, roll open to twist. Let's breathe for five, four, three, two. Last inhale on one. And exhale, let's look forward, release it. We're gonna make our way to some core work in between. So release legs, let's just keep the toes on the floor. Lift and lower one leg at a time, here we go. Inhale, one leg, exhale, lower. Inhale, second leg, exhale, lower. Inhale, first, exhale, down. Inhale, second, exhale, down. A couple more, inhale, first leg, exhale, lower it. Inhale, second. Exhale, lower, inhale, first leg, 
exhale lower stay up there inhale up exhale down both legs up let's hold it for five good suck the low belly in four you got it no problem smile this is great it's monday three two awesome great job one here we go cross those shins we're gonna lift it on up for five rounds of breath for five four three two one make your way back into your chaturanga step or hop your way back lowering down inhale rising into your back bend maybe push up downward dog remember that comes from your core we'll take the left leg here we go inhale left leg high exhale let's open and as you bend the knee both sides feed through external rotation so try to take that lower knee Turn it open to the right. A few more cycles of breath here, just expanding across the front of the hips. We're gonna come out. So we'll inhale, straighten the left leg back up in the air. Exhale, send the foot forward. Here's that Anjane Asana. Good, back knee is back on the floor. So once again, please be safe about it, okay? Arms can lift just to stretch the obliques. Take a big inhale and exhale, interlace fingers behind the head. You can grip the back of the head. Sometimes it's super helpful for me. But let's drag the right leg forward as we lift the heart for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lifting through both arms. Exhale, half split. So remembering, we did half split before. If you want to go into full split, grab your blocks or just hover or touch down. Some people are really good at this. I'm not one of those people. Just finding your way. Letting the right hip flexor find a little bit more of a stretch. Letting dust settle. Letting breath settle. Trying to engage the front thigh will really help to open up into the hamstring. And as you drag that right hip forward, that'll help increase that stretch in the right hip. Wherever you're at, sit up nice and tall. Take a big inhale and exhale, fold forward. So this is not a relaxing posture, right? Let's try to eke out some work. Let's breathe for five, engage that front leg. Four, pull the left hip back, left, uh, right hip forward. Three, two, and a one. Inhale, look up and forward, and exhale. Let's head back into that Anjane Asana. That side is the harder side for me. My right hip just does not want to do anything ever. So I honestly always have to work on it way more. So we're calling, we're going to head into that beautiful little half camel pose. Let's just take our time. You can take the right hand way back, grabbing a hold of the uh, back leg somewhere. Maybe hand is on the block, no problem. But really turning the rib cage open toward the ceiling, maybe lifted hand behind the head. Get that chest up there wherever you're at for five. Use your low belly. Four, stretching it out as we lift a little taller. Good. Three, two, and one. Nice and slow. Come back to Anjane Asana. Inhale and exhale. We'll take the hands to the floor. Remembering we're going to wiggle back leg forward. Take your time into this half lord of the fish's posture. So this is Ardha Matsi and Drasana. So I've got my left knee toward my chest. I'm turning open to the left to twist. Ashtangis, you know the drill. You can take that knee to the outer shoulder. Here we go, inhale, exhale, turn it on open. For five, gaze back behind you, steady that drishti. Four, pull the low belly in, sit up a little stronger. Three, two, and a one. Inhale, look forward, and exhale. Let's release this craziness. 
Good old fashioned spinal twist, good for us. So let's head back into some core work. So we'll just do exactly what we did before, but I really want the focus to be on that low belly. So hug it in like you mean some business. Here we go. Right leg up, inhale, exhale, lower it. Inhale, left leg, exhale down. Inhale, right, exhale down. Inhale, left, exhale down. Engage your arms. Inhale, right, exhale down. Lift your chest. Inhale, left, exhale down. Inhale, right, exhale down. Inhale, left, exhale down. Both legs up. Let's straighten them for five. You can do it. Don't give up. Four, pull the little belly in, lift a little stronger. Three, two, last inhale on one. Listen, exhale, we're gonna release the legs to the floor. Take the hands behind us, a little bit behind your bum, fingers and toes in the same direction. We're heading into Purvotanasana. Reverse plank, reverse table. Choose one, okay? So do internally rotate the shoulders, kind of move them forward and then stretch out across the chest. Okay. Take an inhale to lift the hips for five, four, try to be vertical in your breath, three, two, last inhale up on, exhale, lower down. Let's take our vinyasa from here. You can wiggle to the front edge of your mat. Crossing up the shins, inhale, pick it on up, Exhale, hopping it back, lower it down. Inhale, finding your back bend. Exhale, move into your downward facing. Good job, everybody. So let's turn our gaze forward. We're gonna hop through to a seat. Look between the hands, make your way all the way through. Great job. So let's take a little easy janitor shasana A. I want to offer though, if you want to take Ardha Baddha, Padma Pashimottanasana, feel free to bound a lotus to your right leg and grab a hold of your toe behind you, okay? Fancier way of just saying seated tree pose. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, fold into the left leg for five, four, three, Two, just slowing it down, and one. Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale. Let's make our way into Janusha Shasana A if you're not there. And we're just gonna take a gentle twist open to the right, but I want this to be core supported, so squeeze the core to sit up strong. Inhale, exhale, squeeze to twist for five. Make this about your core instead of the twist. Four, harden that belly. Three, two, and one. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, we're gonna side lean. So lean into that left leg. Maybe you grab a hold of the foot, maybe you don't. Maybe both hands grab a hold of the foot. Up to you. Turn the chest open, try to enjoy this one for five, four, Three, maybe you're smiling. This one's so awesome. Two, and one. Inhale, come back up, and exhale. Here we go to boat pose. We're just gonna take a little traditional, so let's tabletop those legs. For five, try to squeeze the heels together. Four, three, two, good. Lift up on one, just a lift up. Cross those shins. For five cycles of breath, here we go. For five, you can do it, stay with it. Four, even if your feet are on the floor, lift, lift, lift. Three, suck the low belly in. Two, one, lower down, let's switch sides. We've got that Janu Shasana A with the left leg out to the side. So if you're taking the half bound lotus, set it up, left arm around your back. Inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, fold in. Let this be luxurious for you. For five, four, three, two, and one. 
Inhale, look up. And exhale again. We're heading into that Janu A, seated tree pose. Your core twists, so turn open to the left. Really draw the belly in. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the core to twist for five. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let this be more Pilates driven. Four, from the pelvic floor, lift a little stronger. Three, tighten from your obliques, squeeze it in. Two, drag your low belly up. And one, just a simple inhale, look forward. Pick up your left arm and exhale, lateral lean into the right leg. Good. Maybe both hands find your right foot. Really pick up the chest for five. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Four. Three. Good job. Two. Good. One. Inhale, come back up. And exhale. So one more boat work thing. Okay, so I'm going to turn this way just so you can see what we're going to do. We're going to lower down onto our forearms. And I'm going to have my knees, I hope you can see this, my knees split apart and my heels together. Some of you have done this with me before. We're going to squeeze the heels together to lower the legs and lift the legs. Okay, we're going to do it 10 times. So it really needs the squeeze of the heels in order to feel the effects in your core. Press them together, and here we go. One, two, three. Get those heels to press together. Four, if you're not feeling your core, squeeze a little bit more. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Nine, ten. Come on back up to your boat pose and just hold it. Notice how easy it is for 10. Good. Nine. Even if it's not easy, just tell yourselves it is. Eight. You can always put your toes on the floor, no problem. Seven. Six. Squeeze a low belly. Five. Four. Three. Two. Strong. Good job. Lower all the way down on one. Good. Once you've made it to the floor, we'll just counter stretch. Take a simple bridge pose. Bend those knees, heels up toward the butt. Picking up those hips, interlace fingers if it works for your body. And let's just lift and lower the hips 20 times. Try to squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt. Here we go. One, two, squeeze, three. Remember, this, this is about the glutes. Four, a little bit of core here. Five, your glutes are your core. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway there, eleven, twelve, don't forget about your butt cheeks, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, we're going slow on purpose. 17, really feel the burn. 18, 19, 20, take a big inhale, get to the very top, and exhale, release. Let's take feet together, knees apart. Just rest for a moment and soup the body kanasana. Breathing in, breathing out. to full wheel pose. You could please head back to bridge pose if that's the option that is best for your body. Please be your own best advocate for your bodies. If, you're, if it's your brain that's telling you not to do it though, just because it's this is hard, that's a whole different story. So let's head in. Taking your breath in, setting it up. Breath out, feel the ground below. Next inhale, let's lift it on up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last inhale, I'm on, really lift. 
exhale, lower down. Like we did before, maybe you make fists and just kind of roll out your fists. Notice what you need. for one more, so just set it up. Maybe level up today. See where you're at with it. Give yourself a smile, give yourself a pat on the back. And let's go ahead and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, Four, three, two, last inhale on one, really lift, exhale, drop on down. Again, maybe make fists, roll them out. Feel free to windshield wiper your legs. Anything else that will just bring it back, bring it back home. We'll bring the knees to the chest for a moment. And rock on up to your seat. And we'll just take a nice easy Baddha Konasana forward fold. You can bring your feet together. Take a big inhale, sit up strong and exhale, fold. Let's relax for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and a one. And we'll inhale, come back up. And exhale, let's bring the knees together. We'll just take a slow roll on down to your back. Little supine twist, so just take a moment to drop the legs to one side as you ground the opposite shoulder. Hope you had a fun practice today. We'll make our way on over to the other side. Just move with some care. Come on back to center. You can give yourselves a little squeeze, maybe a third eye up to the knees. Perhaps a happy baby if that feels good for you. I love this one. So just let it be juicy, whatever it is, whatever you want to be with. Ready. We're going to head to Shavasana, so you might grab a sweater, you might grab some socks for your feet, you might grab a blanket, something to get cozy with. And your Shavasana could be very relaxed, maybe completely horizontal on the earth. Or perhaps you sit up and just take the last few minutes in a seated meditation. But whatever you've chosen, just let it come from your intuition. 
and settling in. Trusting that you've chosen the right path to end your practice with. begin to make our way back. Just breathing deeply. Feeling the breath swirling in over the nostrils and filling up completely. And breathing out just as completely. Drawing the belly in to push anything remaining out. Feeling inhales, feeling exhales, and starting to move fingers and toes and wrists and ankles and soft swaying head. And stretching out your way, whatever that means for you. Picking up the arms, perhaps, or simply drawing the legs up for a squeeze. You can bring the knees to the chest if you haven't, making your way over to the right, and we'll climb on up to your seat. And just in this last moment of our practice, finding silence just for a few cycles of breath. Bring the palms together in Anjali Mudra in front of the heart, bowing inward, the chin toward the chest. Drawing in through the low belly once again to sit up tall, but also to fill the lungs instead of the belly with breath. As we bow in gratitude 
might we reflect back upon our practice with just as much care as we will provide going forward today. Loving ourselves no matter what and letting that spill over and be offered forward to anyone around us. And taking a big inhale and a long sigh out. And we'll close our practice with the sound of Om. Inhale. Oh. I thank you all so very much for being here today. Namaste.